Daar is iets hoopvols, iets wat mens diep raak, wanneer het bij die kleinkies van wilde dieren kom. Dit snijdt hier jou menselijkheid, die nasaten van enorme soogdieren, afgetrokken en ontoegankelijk. Maar hulle kleinkies herinner ons aan hulle kwetsbaarheid, aan wat hulle eens was. Die woord weeskind of weesie sê reeds genoeg. Nooit weer gaan hier kalfies die hulle maas vertroetel, versorg of gevoed word nie. Ons ken die lot van ons renosters. Ons sluit af, want soms raak dit net te veel. Bloedbedekte gras van de reg oor die land. Statistieke sê vir ons wat ons reeds weet, maar ons wil dit nie confronteer nie. Maar dink een bykie, daar die getalle wat die departement van omgevingsake bekend gemaakt word, vertel vir ons van die renosters wat gestroop is. En van hierdie oukies wat gedehydreer en getraumatiseer achtergeland word nie. Die internationaal erkende renoster kenner Karen Trendler is maar te bewus van hierdie ongevallen wat nie in statistieke weergegeer word nie. Karen is gewoonlik die eerste plek waar daar om hulp aangeklop word wanneer een kalfie weesgelaat is na dat stroopers toe geslaan het. Karen, we all aware of the rhino crisis. We've heard the shocking statistics, but what we're not aware of is what you call collateral damage. What do you mean by that? We were all absolutely horrified, or the public were horrified, when they heard 1,004 for last year. That, in fact, is not a real indication of just how serious the losses are. If you add the number of calves that are lost or calves that are orphaned as a result of the poaching, if you add the deaths that are the collateral damage, immobilizations where animals die under drugs, if you add all of that, we can safely say from what we've been experiencing through the response project that at least double, if not more, then that number of rhino are actually dying or being compromised, badly compromised, as a result of the poaching. Karen had al so wat 200 renoster kalfies groot gemaakt en sy versorg hulle tot hulle gereed is om na die natuur terug te keer. Baie faktore speel een rol tijdens een reddingspoging. Voor al die band tussen die ma en haar kalfie wat eindelijk die oukie sy redding en rehabilitatie kan verhinder. A mother and a rhino calf have an incredibly strong bond. It's a one-on-one -on -one bond. There's a mother with a single calf. That calf suckles for 18 months. It's an exceptionally close bond. So for a calf to lose the mother is very traumatic. It's very stressful. For a calf to lose a mother under the conditions of poaching, where it is present when the mother is either shot and then the horn is hacked off, and in some cases that mother is still alive, um, it's very brutal and we're dealing with uh, intense trauma in these calves, and in fact, we're beginning to see signs of PTSD, which is post traumatic stress disorder. People always think that it's really easy that the, a rhino is shot and then they know that there's a calf. Sometimes they find the calf, the calf is too late, they don't even realize that the mother actually has a calf. The younger the calf is, the shorter the period of time you've got before that calf dies. The age of the calf will also impact on the behavior and how easy it is to find after poaching. So for example, the tiny little calves, the class A calves, the very small ones, regardless of what happens, they will try and stay with the mother. So you may have a mother that's injured, you may have a, um, the mother's carcass where the poachers are taking off the horn, and that little calf will do anything to stay with its mother. So we're seeing a lot of tiny little calves with very serious facial injuries, head injuries, where the poachers have hit out with a panga or an axe. And then the older calves, we're actually getting a lot that are shot in the chest, um, in the front legs, because they'll run away and then try and charge the poachers. Karen neem hier die weesies onder haar vlerk, totdat hulle gereed is om weer in die natuur vrygelaat te word. Sy bestuur ook die Rhino Response Strategy in samenwerking met die bedreigde natuur even trust. Die beweging bring die eienaars van renosters en die rolspelers op nationale en provinciale vlak in contact met mekaar en tree vinnig op wanneer een redingsoperatie van stapel gestuur moet word om een kalfie te red wat weesgelaat is. Feite is, in ek van Raag oor die land, van die staat tot privaat eienaars. Ons beskerm nie ons renosters nie. Ons doen nie. En dis die eindresultaat. Werkswinkels in die stand wat handel oor die skade na die nosterstroepe. Werkswinkels van al die slachte. Het is, um, is hard sêr. Breek my hart. 
die Rhino Response Rescue en Rehabilitation werkswinkels wat Karen samen met die bedreigde natuur hebben trust aanbiedt, is een waardevolle hulpmiddel wanneer een beseerde of weesgelate wilde dier gerehabiliteerd moet worden.